today I have a special guest and a really great recipe. My husband is joining me in the kitchen today and uh, he's actually going to show you our wood cook stove. This is a really great stove and it's actually something he has wanted his whole life. So he's going to show you a little bit about this and he's also going to be cooking up a moose roast and some root vegetables here on the cook stove. So let's get right into the video. So my husband is going to show you our Queen Atlantic stove. Uh, this is where we do all of our cooking. Well, the, for the most part, our cooking in the winter months of the year. So I'll let you show everybody. This was made in the Portland stove foundry in Portland, Maine back in 1900. We use this to cook and to heat in the winter time. Um, it's got a warming oven up top here where we can a lot of food in if we've got company, a big bunch coming. Um, we can keep it warm in there while we're cooking other things. Which is really great like at Thanksgiving time or Christmas time it's really nice to have that extra storage um, because other than this we only have the one oven so it's nice to have a another warm spot for things. This is the oven right here which it's so-so in size, but we make it work. Um, you can load this stove either from the top, which we normally do, or you can load it in the front, which is a little messy. So the side here is the vent when we first get the stove going. We open that side vent up. Uh, that gives it air to draw, helps the fire to go better. Um, this door here is what we open up to take our ashes out. We have to do that normally about once a week, sometimes a little more than once a week. Um, there's a lever on the stove here for when you want to bake or when you want kindle, which is heating, just the heating of the home. Uh, you switch this to bake and it circulates all the air around the oven part of the stove. Um, makes the majority of the heat go towards the oven. Uh, when you're done, you switch it back to kindle and that usually throws a lot of heat when you do that. That's really nice and we don't have a water reservoir simply because when we bought this stove we were actually looking for one with a warming oven. We really wanted the warming oven. Um, the uh, water reservoir would be really great like if the, the electricity went out and you needed a uh, water supply uh, for cleaning or laundry or anything that you would need it for but you can't drink it so we wouldn't drink it um, so we just I guess we just felt that it really wouldn't be worth it for us but we do keep a kettle on here full of water which is nice because you're um, getting that humidity in the air because this is really really dry and we keep our cast iron pans and pots up here and I also keep a crock with some wooden spoons because when you're cooking on a hot cook stove wood doesn't get hot like metal does so you want to cook with wood utensils and this is a, another thing here that he has it's um it's a rack push puller <laughs> so it's nice when you are like if you had here, i won't put it in the oven but if you had this in the oven you can push it further back or see the hook will hang on you can move it from one side to the other or you can grab it and pull it to bring it out. Especially if you have more than one thing in the oven and it, it, something's in the back, it's a little hard to get, so it's nice to be able to pull that forward. So that's just a really nice thing to have. I think that's, um, oh, another thing that's really great to have is in here we pretty much keep this as storage unless we're using it for um, warming the foods up, but I have this cast iron, trivet which is 
really great when you have a lot of stuff on the stove and you want a little extra space. I always put this on the stove so you can put whatever you want to on top of here and it just gives you a little bit more room. So that's really nice. And I don't know where I got this. Um, I found it, oh my gosh, a, a long, long time ago. So we have a cast iron griddle in here that I keep when we um, want to pull that out. Just pull it out and put it on the stove. So it's really nice to have that for storage, and if it's anything you don't want seen, you can just close the door. And this works really nice. So we're going to do some cooking on here for you. My husband has a moose roast that he's going to um, fix, so let's get right to it. I'm preparing our vegetables that are going to go in with our moose roast. We have red potatoes. We have sweet potatoes, we have carrots, we have onions, this is a moose roast that was given to me by a friend. I bake this just pretty much normally like you would a beef roast. There's not a whole lot of difference but moose don't have a lot of fat on them. A little bit but not as much as a cow would. When you make burger out of it a lot of the time people will add some beef fat to it to help give it some fat. Normally burger, you need a lot of fat in it. Does moose taste gamey? Moose isn't as gamey as deer is. Um, I had a friend that used to hunt moose and he'd call them government cows. But no, they're a lot like beef. Not real gamey. Can you eat, like I know you can eat beef medium well, medium rare. Can you do the same with moose? Or do you have to cook it like all the way through? I don't believe there's any problem with cooking it the way you want. I've never heard that there is. Okay, I'm going to put this in to brown up. I'm going to add some more onion and garlic powder, uh, smoked paprika, salt and pepper. We have a hunting season for moose up here. It's like a, a lottery. Every fall uh, you put your name in ahead of time and there's a drawing. Um, I've never gotten mine any time I've ever entered and that's been a good many times but um, a lot of people that I know do get them and they like to share the meat, which is nice to have. One of the things that I wanted to um, show you was this little gadget. I came across one of these. Um, it's made by the same company who does a lot of the, our frying pans. I don't think, we have different ones. We have some made from Lodge. We have some made from uh, Wagner. So it's different cast iron, but I think this one is Wagner. But this is made from Lodge and it's silicone and it just goes on the end of, I think we have a visitor outside, we can hear snow sled. This just goes on the handle so that when you are working on the stove, because you touching the cast iron working on a hot stove, it's going to be hot. So rather than keeping your... Um, uh, pot holder on there you can just put that on there and it works really great so it just gives you a cover and these are probably I don't know if they were between three and six dollars maybe I'm not not real sure but it's great because you can put it on the hot stove and touch it without fear of burning your hand so we're gonna cook this for a little while and then get our vegetables on Can you see it? 
These machines make me so nervous. He's got a long ride home. I'm glad that he's safety conscious. I'm glad that he's careful. Can you see him? That's the top of our driveway. There he goes. So while the roast is in the oven cooking, I thought we could talk about moose. So I have a few facts here that I wrote down about them. Um, we do have them occasionally around here. We hear them walk through the woods out back quite often um, in the summer and in the fall. We've had them come down our driveway and hang out in the yard and um, yeah it's kind of neat. You can um, We've walked out the front door and literally been about 10 feet away from them and they just stand there and stare at you. Um, I wouldn't advise ever going too close to one because if they ever get spooked or get angry, they will charge at you and, and they can be very dangerous because they are huge. So um, we just enjoy them. We, we love to see them around here and uh, we just really enjoy them. Uh, they are the heaviest and the largest species in the deer family. They are in the deer family. So, and meese is not plural for moose. <laughs> Moose is moose, whether it's plural or singular. So I know I've had somebody ask me that before, and Marsha, you know exactly who I'm talking about. <laughs> so they can be found in Canada, Alaska, New England, and in a few of the lower 48 states, with Maine having the largest population of moose. Go Maine! Their diet is usually aquatic vegetation, uh, feeding in ponds, they feed on grasses, young trees and shrubs. Um, they're generally very slow moving and like I said, um, they're solitary animal, uh, but they can be aggressive if they're angered or startled. They mate in the fall, which is called rutting season, um, and they that's when they're the most dangerous. As far as their uh, how big they are, they are the largest land animal uh, next to only two species of bison. So that'll tell you, that's, that's a big animal. Um, the male can weigh in at anywhere between 840 to 1500 pounds. The female, 440 to 790 pounds. That's big. I've seen them, so I, they are big. I've been on a four-wheeler and come across them on the tracks and you look up when you see them because they're huge. They stand um, anywhere between four and a half feet to 6.9 feet at the shoulder. I mean, you're looking at almost seven feet just at the shoulder. That's, that's not counting their head and their antler. So they're, they're a very large animal. So, and as far as length, from nose to tail, which they don't really have a tail, uh, 7.9 to 10 feet. It's a big animal. The largest moose was found in the Yukon, weighing in at 1,800 pounds. Yeah, he was a big boy. So, uh, yeah, I thought those were some interesting little facts to share with you about moose. They are a beautiful animal. They're very docile uh, until, like I said, if, if they get upset with you or, you know, you spook them, boy, all of a sudden they can really move. But they're an interesting, interesting looking animal. So, so those are just some fun and interesting facts about moose. Okay, I'm just finishing browning off the roast. Then we'll brown our vegetables up and throw it in the oven. Put our vegetables.
vegetables in and brown them up. This is the best way to do your vegetables if you've never done them this way. This is how we always do them. We just pan fry them really quickly. It doesn't have to cook them. It doesn't have to pre-cook them. You just want them to soak up that um, all those juices and stuff and just kind of fry it up a little bit. Sometimes the edges get a little bit brown and the onions or the potato, and oh my gosh, that's like the best part for me. So these are just going to go on the stove and cook for a little bit. We'll put a little more butter in here. Doesn't hurt to add a little butter to brown them up. One thing you quickly learn when you uh, start cooking on a cook stove is where the heat is. And I find that this is the hottest area right here. And then you're not quite as hot here, but it's pretty close. And then as you go over to the right, your temperature goes down. So that side over here is just a shelf. This right here. So this stays warm, but not hot. I'm now going to add the moose roast back into the pan here with our pan fried vegetables. I'm just kind of making a well for a roast to sit down in amongst the vegetables. We could get more in our pan here than we thought we did, but we'll get it. These flavors are going to just marry each other and be so good. I'm going to add a little water in with the roast here to make sure that it doesn't go dry. I'm also going to put a little bit of wine in. This wine will help deglaze the pan and give it a little extra flavor. What kind of wine is that? Is it just a... A white Zinfandel. I suppose there would be like a cooking wine that you could put on it in here and that would work just as well, but this is just a wine that we had on hand and it seems to work. It gives it a really nice flavor. And we're going to throw this in the oven and it shouldn't be long and it will be done. The oven temperature is right about 300, 325, so this can be low and slow for a little while, and that is actually the best way to cook a roast. Sorry. My husband is fixing me a nice cup of tea, and in a few minutes we're going to sit down and have some of that really great moose roast and vegetables that you saw us cooking. I hope you enjoyed today's video and please give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. And thank you for joining me here at Mimi's Pantry. Thank you, Heavenly Father, for this food you set before us. Please bless this food and all that's set at our table. We thank you for our beautiful day. We pray this year through the angel.